Oh, you gangbang, huh? You part of a nation, you part of a set, and you white? I'm gonna let you know what happens when you uh, white gang members find yourself in prison down here in the state of Florida. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm the best. Finna be this way till I EOS. Take it how you want, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pro. Fuck around, I'll bunch a lot while you're at Vizzo. I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment. Waking up every day, show me an opponent. Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks. So much pool, I can even start you from the box. You don't wanna pay rent? Got me bent. Got lacks on deck, your money was well spent. Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing. Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing. You a hold down man? Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing? You gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Today, I'm going to be talking about what happens to white people that gangbang inside of prison. Now, don't get me wrong. Let me go ahead and throw this out here in the very beginning that I done spoke on what happens to gang members. I done spoke on what happens to white people in prison. I done spoke on what happens to... People that are unaffiliated inside of prison. But a lot of people keep saying fraud, but you never really told us what happens to white boys that are in a gang inside of prison. How is it for them? Okay, and this is going from somebody and coming from somebody that, you know, isn't affiliated, that isn't a gang member. But I'm going to break it down from my perspective, from what I've seen through the experiences when I was incarcerated down here in the state of Florida. Okay, and let's put it this way. If you're a black dude, or if you're a Spanish dude, or if you're a white dude, and you gangbang, and you rep some type of organization, and you find yourself in prison, who do you think has to prove their self the most? Think about it. Who do you think? Out of those three races, who do you think is going to have to prove their self the most? Do you think it's the Spanish? Do you think it's the blacks? No, it's not. It's the whites. Even if you're in a gang that white people are allowed to be in because you know you you'll find some gang members that are in you know that are white boys that are in some gangs where they don't even allow white boys but they they somehow manage to get in there and somehow they get gifted in or blessed in or whatever you call it grandfathered in or whatever and you know some camps will allow it and some camps will embrace them shake up with them and all that shit and everything and will actually you know treat them as if that's their brother but not all camps are like that some camps won't allow it but Regardless, if you were a white person and you were in a gang, even if it's a gang that the whites are allowed to ha you know, be in, you're still going to have to prove yourself more than any other race will. Okay, I know I've, that's kind of hard to believe, but I'm speaking on down here in the state of Florida, okay, to where when you go to an institution, say there's 1,500 inmates, at least 900 of them are black. And then maybe 300 of them will be Spanish. The rest will be whites. Okay? That's how it is down here in the state of Florida when it comes to, you know, the, the population between the races. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know how it is. You know, people, people come home to gangs and shit on the streets and, you know, they want to be a part of something. And I, I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You grow up around certain people and then people right there bang some shit. And then, you know, the love feels real. The love is true. So why not join and be even closer to them to show y'all, man, this shit is till the death of us. And then you become part of whatever that they are a part of. Then you get locked up and you're going to come across people who are in the same gang as you, who are in the same gangs as the enemies that are the enemies of the gang you're in, you know, so you got new enemies and you got new brothers, you got new family, you got new foes, new friends, new haters, new people that like you, new people that don't, and you're going to be tested off rip, literally. Me personally, I've never seen it to where they would, as soon as somebody comes in that's part of a gang that is in a different race other than white. I've never seen any other race get put on a, a, a mission to prove yourself. Never. I've never seen as soon as a black guy comes into prison and he says, oh, I'm a blood, and I shaking up, dapping him up, I'm Olap, you know, doing all the handshakes and everything like that. I've never seen where they send him on a mission just to prove it. You know, even though they get in the mix and they blend in and they do what they do along with their brothers without even being asked. But I've seen the whites get put on missions. And sometimes, 
the people there that rep the same gang that you're pushing, the same gang that you you claim and you you swear you're a part of, them same people might not like you when you come there. So not every mission they're putting you on is a good mission. I've seen them put people on dummy missions, missions where they know that person's going to get caught. They know that person's going to go to confinement. They know that person's going to get transferred and they rather them get caught and get taken off the compound than one of their own that they truly feel like is their brother for real. You know what I'm saying? And when I was at Calhoun CI, I remember when people would come in that dorm and they would claim they banged some shit and the guards would off rip. Oh, you bang? Okay. And they'd go holler at, you know, who they know is really a part of that gang and say, oh, this one right here says he's one of y'all's and he'd send the, send the inmates at them. You feel me? So they're going to come press you off rip. They want to know that you know your shit. You know what I'm saying? They want to know you know your lit, your literature. They want to know that you know everything you're supposed to know. And they want to see the proof. They want to know who your big homie is, who your head is. You know what I'm saying? Who your godfather is. They want to know all this shit. And then not only that, they want to know that you're really about that. Because there's so many people that are gang members. And not every single one of them are living like that. That's the thing. There's a lot of them that are living like that. But there's a damn sure a lot also that aren't living like that, that, you know, come home for protection or come home just because they want to be a part of something because they've never been a part of anything or try to, you know, get up under something that already has a name for itself because they ain't never put their name out there and was, was always considered a nothing. Now they're part of an organization. Or you got people that just want to be cool and follow their homeboys and do it. You got people that look up to rappers and see rappers are gang members and want to become gang members. I've ran into plenty of people in my life that said they became a blood because Lil Wayne. You see? Like, just because they idolize Lil Wayne, they want to become a blood. So, people come home to organizations, you know, and all the time, it isn't for a good reason. It's not for the right reason. You get what I'm saying? And when you're not black or Spanish down here in the state of Florida and you rep a gang, you go in there, that shit's going to be tested. They're going to test you. They're going to want to make sure you're down the rock. Okay? They got, a, they got a white gang down here called the Unforgivens. All right? And that gang right there, you know, they, it's, it's straight whites. You feel me? And every camp I went to, I seen Unforgivens. You know what I'm saying? And... They run their shit kind of different than every other gang in the prison, all right? Now, I know on the West Coast, the whites got all the numbers and they run it up top and all that shit. But down here in the state of Florida, the whites do not run the state of Florida prison. And this is coming from someone that's white. I'm just being real with you. And this is no disrespect towards the Unforgivens because I know plenty of them. You feel me? But it's facts, you know? Whether you're going off of numbers, whether you're going off of, you know, situations, stabbings, whoopings, any of that, wars, it's it's just facts that they don't they don't run the state of Florida. You know what I'm saying? Like they do on the West Coast. You know, I hear that they got the woods, the 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 whites and the Chicos run it on the on, on the West Coast. Down here, every camp you go to, boy, white boys are outnumbered. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen where a white boy would come in and he'd have all the tattoos on him showing that he's unforgiven and shit like that. And next thing you know, He's getting tested by his own brothers and he's got to fight his own brothers or, you know, they're going to do send him on a little mission to see if he's going to qualify to be accepted. In all reality, dude said he'd been banging this shit for the last five, six years. You know what I'm saying? He's been in prison for five years, you know, so it's like how you know that he ain't put in more work already throughout his bid than you've done yourself. It's just you, you're at this camp already. You could have only been one for two years. But you've been here, now he comes here, now he's got to reprove it to you. When really, in all reality, you ain't on the same level as him. He's above you. He done put in way more work for the nation. But they kept telling him, man, you got to prove yourself, you got to prove yourself. And he was he was with it. And one of, the, one of the dudes that was an unforgiving where I was at, he knew martial arts. He was a white boy, he had his whole neck tattling shit. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he had a life sentence. Okay? And... He had a life sentence because he, he bagged his dad because his dad did something to his niece. That's the easiest way that I can, you know, put it out there. So he bagged his own dad. You know what I'm saying? But he was known for, like, whooping everybody, like, in his set. You know what I'm saying? But I never seen them send a white boy that was an unforgiving 
out on a mission against another gang because they were outnumbered. So it's like, oh, I'm just, just to prove he's one of us, we're going to send him over here to beat this dude up who may happen to be a blood or who may happen to be up under the bloods. You know, he may be a June June or a hold down man or being extorted from a different organization. And you're going to send someone that is telling you they really are part of your organization. They got this shit all tatted on them. You hear his name from different people showing that he's really putting off for this organization. And you're going to send him out there to do something to someone that can be up under another gang. And then next thing you know, it's going to cause a war amongst the Unforgivens and whatever gang that they send him in. You see what I'm saying? That's how it is. You feel me? So they're not going to do that. They're going to do it amongst each other. It's going to be a white on white fight. Literally. It's going to be like a TOH amongst each other. And that's how it is. And I've been to some camps to where gang members don't give a damn if you bang. They don't care what organization you're in or nothing. If you're a white and you claim some type of gang, you're going to be tested. Because you get tested regardless. Even if you don't gang bang. But when you're in there saying... You push something, you rep something, you best believe there's going to be people in there that want you to prove it. You see, now, if you're one of them people that are hush mouth, you stay to yourself, you let everything slide, you don't want no problems, you'll give people canteen to leave you alone, you'll break it off, pay rent, whatever it is. If you're one of them people like that, you know, you may not have as many problems as someone who wants to defend their pride, you know, like me. I'm a perfect example. The reason I had... The shit I went through and the things that I would get myself into because I was up there with the big dogs because I talked like a big dog. You feel me? And I made it known that I'm not going to let nobody try me. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to get there. I'm from Briar County. You feel me? Win, lose, or draw, we getting in the paint. You feel me? And when you put your name out there and when you speak your opinion and you don't gangbang and you put yourself on that pedestal like you're up here with all these people that are repping some shit but you don't rep, they're going to test that. They want to see you talk so big and bad, you talk like you're living like that, that like you won't let no one try you, that you will fight if it comes down to it. So they're going to want to see it. They want to see it rather than just hear it. Same thing when you're repping a gang. When you're repping a gang and you're a white boy, okay? When you're repping this gang and you're a white boy, it's the same thing. They want to see if the shit you talking is true. If, if you bout that. You know what I'm saying? Now... Like I said, I know in different places, you know, different things, you know, are ran different. You feel me? Down here, you know, let's, for instance, we got the GDs, the folks, okay? Those right there, man, I done seen whites, blacks, Spanish, uh, 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 European, all Caucasian, everything you can think of are in the GDs down here, okay? So, like, we ain't got no segregation. You feel me? It ain't segregated over here. You're going to have all different races and different gangs in the same dorm. You may be a blood. He may be a crip. Y'all could be bunkies. You may be white. He might be black. Y'all could be bunkies. It don't matter. The, the, the bloods and the crips could be going to war on the compound and y'all could still be in the same cell. It doesn't matter. That's how it is down here in the state of Florida. So as far as like when you see like the whites separate, the blacks separate, the Spanish separate and stuff, it isn't like that. Down here, it isn't like that at all. You might come in your dorm with a shitload of canteen and walk in your room. You might have a white, black, and Spanish, all from different gangs, run in there with knives and rob you. One could be a Zoe, one could be a Blood, and one could be a Crip. And they all run in there and rob you. That's, that's what it is. They, they just committed a robbery together. They're co-defendants. That's how it goes down here in the state of Florida. You see what I'm saying? And... People who ain't never been locked up down here, they don't know no better. They, they, they just go off of what they know. You see what I'm saying? They go off of how it is where they're at, just like I'm going off of how it is where I'm at. You feel me? But they're two different things that will never collide. It'll just be you got some people from the East Coast that may get locked up on the West Coast and they see it's totally different, or you're going to have some people on the West Coast that find themselves locked up down here and see it's totally different. You know what I'm saying? And I know that whites are respected highly on the west coast you feel me down here in florida you have to earn respect literally and if you were a white boy you have to earn it twice as much you got to put in twice the effort than any other color i'm just being real with you my whole life i had to prove that i know how to throw these shits i had to prove that i know how to take some shit if it hits me i had to prove my shit ain't glass you know what i'm saying i had to prove this my whole life all the way from elementary school 
to alternative schools, to the juvenile detention center, to programs, to the county jail, to prison. My whole life I had to prove it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is because you're going to have people that don't take you seriously just because you're white. It don't matter how many tattoos you have on you. It don't matter how serious your charges are. It don't matter how far your release date is. It don't matter how long you've been in prison. If the color of your skin is white and you find yourself in prison, there's going to be people in there that want to test you. There's going to be people in there that want to see that savage come about you and see if it is actually even there. And if you go in there repping a gang, your own brothers might not like you. Your own brothers might put you on that, you know, that, that, that plate for another gang to try you. Okay, I've seen so much cricket shit happen just because someone was white. One time his brothers, low-key, wanted to see if he was living like that. And another gang ran in there and tried to rob him. And they wanted to see if he was going to defend himself, break it off, or whatever it was. And his brothers just sat back. And then after it all happened, he defended himself. Okay, he, he, he rocked out and shit like that and ended up getting into it with them in the cell and all that. But then he went to his brother for backup. Was like, man, let's go get these clowns that just came in here and tried to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they was thinking. Boy, they must have got misinformed. And then they didn't help him. So then he was looking like, man, what the hell? What, what? Now it looks like they all soft and scared. But in all reality, it was just a test drill against that motherfucker because he was white. You see, these are the type of things that you got to be prepared for. Now, I didn't came across people who've been repping a gang for 10 years on the streets. 10 years you've been banging. You've been repping that shit. You've been loped out. You know what I'm saying? Or you've been repping whatever you've been repping on the streets. Next thing you know, you go to prison and they don't accept you. Straight up. It gets, it gets deeper. It gets deeper. And people don't want to put their face on yours. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to make it look like, oh, that's my brother. I'm going to rock. Because, you know, you normally, whether you like your brother or not, you're supposed to rock with him. You feel me? And I've seen plenty of gang members that were white that get left in that water anytime pressure hits. Anytime that shit takes off and hits the fan, not all their brothers are rocking. There's going to be ones that are cool with them because it's their brothers, but then you got ones that don't even want to shake up with them. Literally, you could come to a compound and you could be 100% legit a part of that gang and you get brought to that compound and whoever's the head at that institution when you meet him and all that, he tells everybody, yeah, this is our brother such and such, blah, 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 you already know what it is, embrace him, blah, 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 blah. There could be 15 other brothers of yours, and then seven of them don't even want to shake up with you when you come in there. I'm just being real with you. That's how it goes. It's like they feel like, because certain gangs ain't supposed to have whites, so off rip they feel like that person ain't official. You know, if you, de if you dig back deep down into it to see where whites ain't supposed to be in that organization or be a part of that. So they feel like there's no way that he's 100. And all reality, the white boy's stabbing shit, been wetting shit, been putting on for the organization, been beating people up, airlifting people, getting people off the compound, you know, knocking people's teeth out. You know, he's really putting on for that set and banging that shit. You know what I'm saying? So who are you to tell him that he ain't, you know, accurate? He ain't legit. You feel me? And a lot of times it'd be their own kind that just, instead of looking like they just accept anybody or, or they'll bring anybody home, no matter what they are, who they are, they'll leave them out there in that water and put that strike on them as if they're fake and let the other gangs take care of them rather than feeling like they look some type of way through the eyes from the other organizations. And that's how it goes. You see what I'm saying? And I've never seen... A white gang member have it as easy as any other color inside a Florida prison. Literally. I've never seen it. I've never seen a white gang member just to sit back and kick his feet up like everything was all gravy. Maybe, of course, when there was nothing going on or no beef or anything with any other gangs. Or maybe when, you know, that gang wasn't even doing shit with their organization. They was just, you know, doing their time. But when something hits the fan... Or if they want to try someone, or if they want to set up a dummy mission, or if they want someone to be a crash dummy and go head first and do it, who you think they're going to holler at the first to do it? The white person that is in their gang. The white person that is in their organization. I'm just being real. 
Now, where I was at, you got some people that were in different races that want to go first. They want to be the ones that are known to do it. They want to take flight and go do what they got to do, whether their brothers want them to do it or not. You feel me? And a lot of times, you may see the white gang member going to, you know, do whatever he's told to do with another one of his brothers that are a different race, but that's because that other brother wanted to go with him because he feels like that's his real brother so if he's in it i'm in it that's how it is you know what i'm saying and i don't care how long you've been banging i don't care if you was, was put in that shit since you was nine years old when you go there you know you break it all down you let them know yeah that might get you accepted you got acceptance from everybody that's in the organization but people who are in other gangs people who don't gang bang are not going to take you that serious just due to the fact the color of your skin. I'm being real with you. So many times I got myself in situations and got in arguments and had to up my knife on people and tell people, boy, it ain't what you think it is. Boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to gut you was because I was white. You see what I'm saying? Because off rip, it's like when you're a white person and you were in prison, you're, 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 you're considered below everyone else. You know what I'm saying? You already know how it is. The blacks call you a cracker. Even the Spanish call you a cracker. Because the Spanish is, you know, the, the browns are in between the whites and blacks. You feel me? But they call you a cracker also because they don't want to be considered a cracker from the blacks themselves. So instead, they side with the blacks and call whites crackers. You see what I'm saying? These are the type of things that you'll find that people do inside of prison. Anytime you get in an argument, don't even matter if it was your friend. It could be your homeboy. Y'all got along for the longest. Y'all eat together. Y'all hang out. Y'all run spades tournaments together. Y'all work out together. Y'all mob the compound, violate together, beat people up together, whatever it may be. As soon as you get in an argument with them, the first thing they call you is a cracker. Right or wrong? That's what it is. And the reason for that is because they already in their mind have it to where out of everything in the world that they could be, at least they're not as bad as a white person, which is a cracker. That's how they look at it. You see what I'm saying? And you got to prove yourself. Literally, you're not going to go in there and talk rah-rah and walk around with a nation like you're part of some rah-rah movement and not have to present and show action. They're not going to take you serious all because of the color of your skin. I'm telling you, that's exactly how it is. You may have got away with it on the streets because think of how big the world is. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. I have people that run their mouth about me all the time that live in the same county as me and I ain't seen them yet. You feel me? Because they know. They know how big it is out here and how hard it is. You know, I'm not looking for nobody or nothing, but, you know, patience is key. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, it ain't like that in prison. In prison, you ain't got that that much to, to go nowhere to hide you know what i'm saying and if you're over here in this dorm saying you bang this and you're a white boy everybody on the whole compound is going to hear there's a white boy saying he claims this inside of that dorm over there on the other side of the pound that's how it goes so you're going to have to prove yourself there isn't no sleeping on the beef there isn't no waiting there isn't no oh, what ifs none of that you're going to have to prove yourself no matter how long you've been banging on the streets that may have got you the respect out of some of your brothers even maybe majority of them but that ain't going to mean you get the respect you deserve from the other organizations or from people who don't gangbang you feel me because you got people who don't gangbang that will be black or Spanish that will literally disrespect a white boy that does gangbang and feel like, oh, I don't care because he gangbang, I'll beat that cracker's ass. Da, 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 da. That's that's how they look at it. All because you're white. You see, that's that's how it is for white gang members inside of prison down here in the state of Florida. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm unaffiliated. I don't give a damn what color you are. You know what I'm saying? If I feel disrespected by you and I don't give a damn how many brothers you got, I don't care about none of that shit. Your brothers are going to respect me by the time all this shit's over with. You see what I'm saying? Because they going to know that this white boy right here is willing to rock. He rocks by himself. He don't need no organization. He don't gangbang. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the white boys that are cool. He's a, considered a cool white boy. You feel me? And if... You're white and you go into prison and you're repping, oh, I'm a GD, why well, put on for my shit? I rep pitchforks, da 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 and all this different stuff. And you get into it with a blood or a zoe. 
Man, the first thing they, man, they gonna look at you like, man, I beat the shit out of that white boy, bro. I don't care he gang bang. It ain't none of that, bro. You feel me? I don't care what he's talking about, man. I, man, I heard that cracker. Da, 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 da. And it's got a lot to do with the skin color and the baby blue green eyes. You know what I'm saying? They, they underestimate that on some circumstances, but I don't blame them because a lot do not stick up for themselves. And a lot of them come home for protection. And a lot of them that come home on the streets, go up the road and be fake. They be dubbed. They be flake. They, they're not real. They're not real gang members. They came home to some shit and didn't even get brought home right. And then they go to prison and they see what it's really like. And then they check in up under their own kind. Here you're repping this gang on the streets for 10 years. 10 years, but you were repping it the wrong way. You weren't even official. You go to prison, the real ones get you scared, you check in. So everything you just stood for in the last 10 years goes all out the window. You see what I'm saying? That's how it is. So if you're a white boy and you're watching this video and you gangbang, from me to you, my advice for you is don't trust nobody. You know that. Every brother ain't your brother. You know what I'm saying? And you better be willing to go the extra mile and be committed. If you see someone in there going hard, you better go twice as hard. If they're putting in 100%, you better put in 150%. I'm just being real with you. Because people will not easily accept you. It doesn't work like that. And if it, if it does, if you do get accepted easily or if you're a white person watching this video, that gangbang and you made it through prison with no problems. You made it, your brothers embraced you and everything was straight. You just happen to land at the right institution and your brothers had shit already controlled, everything in route, everything was already locked down the way it needed to be. You had a good structure by the time you got there. But if you're one of these people that never been in prison and you're and 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 you're repping this shit and you are a white boy, you better prepare for the worst because your own kind can be your biggest enemies. You know how it is when you come home to something, you came home to that gang because of the people who brought you home and the people that you came up with made you feel like the love was real. So that's what made you feel so comfortable to coming home. Once you find your ass up that road, you're going to be with brothers of yours that might make you feel like in the back of your mind that this gang banging shit ain't where it's at. This, I'm seeing a side of this nation and a side of shit and hearing things about my gang that I never even knew existed. I didn't even know that this went on like this. You feel me? This is when you start seeing the flaws. But it's too late because you're already a part of it. You've already been inside of it. So now it's too late. You're part of that flawness. You see what I'm saying? But you better prepare for the worst. I'm telling you. And it's crazy the way it is, you know, just off the color of the skin. You feel me? You're going to have to prove yourself twice as hard as any other as any other race. And for instance, if a black person gets into a beef, right? And he doesn't gangbang, all he's got to do if he's getting into it with a white person, all he's got to do is crack it is crack it is crack it that crack it is crack it that. That's it. That's all he's got to do. And then all the other blacks are going to back him up against you because he said that word cracker. A chico the Browns always walk with the Browns, whether they gangbang or not. If a Spanish person is sticking up for itself, that brown pride, that brown pride is going to come into full effect. And whatever Spanish gang is there, they're going to rock with that Spanish person that does not gangbang. You know what I'm saying? As long as he's sticking up for himself. The white boys, not all the time do you see the whites stand up and rock with a white boy that's getting tried by a different gang or anything like that. Never ever out of my whole entire bid... Every single person I got in a fight with and got into an altercation with or any of that, I not one time, not once, did I have the Unforgivens, the white gang, stick up and say, oh, we're going to rock with Frog, da 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 da, because he's going to defend himself. He's rocking out. None of that. I always had different color races stick up for me and, my, and have my back so I don't get jumped, make sure I get me a one on one or whatever it may be. You see what I'm saying? You're going to see things that are different. If you grew up up north in Florida, I'm from down south. I'm down here where we say the word nigga. If you grew up, if you grew up, 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 up north in northern Florida, out there in the sticks where y'all go hunting and shit like that, and you grew up and you started repping that white pride and that unforgiving stuff, that's what you'll know. That's how you came up. It is what it is. But when you go to prison, you're going to see how your own race don't even stick up for you. Don't even rock with you. They don't want to be on that plate like you when you're sticking up for yourself and find yourself in some type of beef. And I'm just being real with you. 
And this goes for all the people that are white that are in a gang. This is what you need to expect if you go to prison down here in the state of Florida. It's that real spill. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video on up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like always, y'all already know, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. If you ain't hit it on the way in, people are always keep dropping in the comments. Frog, tell us what will happen to a white person that bangs when they go to prison. I know I done spoke on this topic before, little bits and pieces in different ways, but I felt like doing this video solemnly directed straight to that. You feel me? But anyway, y'all, you already know, man. Make sure you keep the rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, people who can't grow no matter how many fucking people they link up with who are going to be in the same place 10 years from now, who finance cars and rent rims in 2022, but ride around with pull out gold like they savages. Man, keep them at your circle, man. You already know, man. Till next time, this the one and only Frog.